Hello Royal fans and welcome back. Meghan launched a lawsuit against the publisher of the Mail on Sunday Associated newspaper in October last year. The trial itself will start on January 11th and is set to last between 8 to 10 days. However, there has already been a series of skirmishes as Meghan's lawyers and the defendant prepare their cases, two of which have been lost by the Duchess. According to a brand and reputation manager expert, the lawsuit against Associated Newspaper is hurting Meghan's brand and is creating the so-called Streisand effect. Eric Schnaffer, chairman of Reputation Management Consultants, believes this legal battle isn't necessarily ruining the Duchess's work opportunities as a paid speaker or TV producer. However, these perceived attempts to curb media scrutiny and the attention from the public eye are now producing the opposite effect, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were hoping to obtain. He told Express, Losing the skirmishes on the legal side doesn't necessarily hurt her as a speaker. However, what it does is become another indicator of her very challenged and combustible relationship with the press, which is not good for her brand. The expert said the Duchess is at risk of experiencing the Streisand effect, a social phenomenon which sees attempts to hide and protect information causing the unintended consequence of casting even more publicity on it. He continued, and I think that hurts Meghan in the end. In April, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their decision to no longer engage with five British tabloids. Mr. Schiffer believes that Meghan and Harry's attempt in the long run could become rat poison to the Duchess's brand. Meghan, the expert said, should aim at lowering the temperature on her scrutiny by striking a deal with associated newspapers, Mr. Schiffer added. Meghan is contesting five articles, published from February 2019 by the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online, in which extracts of a private letter she had sent to her father the previous summer were published. The Duchess of Sussex accused associated newspapers of misuse of private information, copyright infringement and breach of the Data Protection Act. The publisher wholly denies any wrongdoing. Upon announcing the legal case, Prince Harry issued a blistering statement published on the website sussexofficial.uk, in which he said Meghan had become one of the latest victims of British tabloid press that wages campaigns against individuals with no thought to the consequences. Lawyers of the two parts have already met at the High Court over the past few months. In May, it was announced the publisher won its request, made during a preliminary hearing, to remove from the case allegations it had acted dishonestly and stoked the rift between Meghan and her father, Thomas Markle Sr. In August, the Duchess won the right to keep secret the identity of five friends who spoke anonymously to People magazine in early 2019, briefly mentioning Meghan's letter to her father during their interview. In September, September Meghan lost another skirmish with the judge, ruling the recently published unofficial biography of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Finding Freedom, can be used during the trial. Wow, more ammo in the corner of the associated newspapers. Let's see how this thing plays out. Like the rest of the world, we'll have to wait for next year to see the trial. But thank you for watching all the updates about it. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon for the latest updates. Join us again tomorrow for more royal news. And goodbye for now.